Dead Sea Scrolls of Numbers For Q23 Numbers, Language, Hebrew Date, 150-75 BC Location, Qumran K4 Numbers 1 One Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, 2. Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, every male, one by one, three from twenty years old and upward, all who are able to go out to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall count them by their divisions. For with you there shall be a man of every tribe, each one head of his father's house. 5. These are the names of the men who shall stand with you. Of Reuben, Elizer the son of Shadur. 21 Those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Reuben, were 46,500. 22 Of the children of Simeon, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, those who were counted of it, according to the number of the names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war. 36 Of the children of Benjamin, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war. Thirty-seven those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty-five thousand four hundred. Thirty-eight of the children of Dan, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, thirty-nine those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Dan, were sixty-two thousand seven hundred. Forty of the children of Asher, their generations, by their families, by their fathers houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war. Numbers 2. 18. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Ephraim shall be Elishama the son of Amahad. 20. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh. The prince of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel the son of Pedasser. 31. All who were counted of the camp of Dan were 157,600. They shall set out last by their standards. 32. These are those who were counted of the children of Israel by their fathers' houses. All who were counted of the camps according to their armies were 603,550. Numbers 3. 3. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests who were anointed, whom they were consecrated to minister in the priest's office. For Nadab and Abihu died before Yahweh when they offered strange fire before Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Eliezer and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the presence of Aaron their father. 5. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying. 6. Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister to him. 7. They shall keep his requirements, and the requirements of the whole congregation before the tent of meeting, to do the service of the tabernacle. 8. They shall keep all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, and the obligations of the children of Israel, to do the service of the tabernacle. 9. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly given to him on the behalf of the children of Israel. 10. You shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall keep their priesthood, but the stranger who comes near shall be put to death. 11 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying. 12 Behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn who open the womb among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. 13 For all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt I made holy to me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and animal they shall be mine. I am Yahweh. 14 Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying. 15 Count the children of Levi by their fathers' houses, by their families. You shall count every male from a month old and upward. 16 Moses counted them according to Yahweh's word, as he was commanded. 18 These are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimi. 19 The sons of Kohath by their families, Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uzziel. 
51 And Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and to his sons, according to Yahweh's word, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Numbers 4 1 Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, 2 Take a census of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi, by their families, by their fathers' houses, 3 from 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old, all who enter into the service to do the work in the tent of meeting. For, this is the service of the sons of Kohath in the tent of meeting, regarding the most holy things. 5 When the camp moves forward, Aaron shall go in with his sons, and they shall take down the veil of the screen, cover the ark of the testimony with it, 6 Put a covering of sealskin on it, spread a blue cloth over it, and put in its poles. 7 On the table of show bread they shall spread a blue cloth, and put on it the dishes, the spoons, the bowls, and the cups with which to pour out, and the continual bread shall be on it. 8 They shall spread on them a scarlet cloth, and cover the same with a covering of sealskin, and shall put in its poles. 9 They shall take a blue cloth and cover the lamp stand of the light, its lamps, its snuffers, its snuff dishes, and all its oil vessels, with which they minister to it. 10 They shall put it and all its vessels within a covering of sealskin, and shall put it on the frame. 11 On the golden altar they shall spread a blue cloth, and cover it with a covering of sealskin, and shall put in its poles. 12 They shall take all the vessels of ministry with which they minister in the sanctuary, and put them in a blue cloth, cover them with a covering of sealskin, and shall put them on the frame. 40 Even those who were counted of them, by their families, by their fathers' houses, were 2,630. 41 These are those who were counted of the families of the sons of Gershon, all who served in the tent of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron counted according to the commandment of Yahweh. 42 Those who were counted of the families of the sons of Merari, by their families, by their fathers' houses. 43 From thirty years old and upward even to fifty years old, everyone who entered into the service for work in the tent of meeting. 44 Even those who were counted of them by their families, were 3,200. 45 These are those who were counted of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron counted according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. 46 All those who were counted of the Levites whom Moses and Aaron and the princes of Israel counted, by their families and by their fathers' houses. 47 From thirty years old and upward even to fifty years old, everyone who entered in to do the work of service and the work of bearing burdens in the tent of meeting. 48 Even those who were counted of them, were 8,580. 49 According to the commandment of Yahweh they were counted by Moses, everyone according to his service and according to his burden. Thus were they counted by him, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Numbers 5 1 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, 2. Command the children of Israel that they put out of the camp every leper, everyone who has a discharge, and whoever is unclean by a corpse. 3. Both you shall put male and female outside of the camp so that they don't defile their camp, in the midst of which I dwell. For the children of Israel did so, and put them outside of the camp, as Yahweh spoke to Moses, so did the children of Israel. 5. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, 6. Speak to the children of Israel, when a man or woman commits any sin that men commit, so as to trespass against Yahweh, and that soul is guilty, 7. Then he shall confess his sin which he has done, and he shall make restitution for his guilt in full, add to it the fifth part of it, and give it to him in respect of whom he has been guilty. 8. But if the man has no kinsman to whom restitution may be made for the guilt, the restitution for guilt which is made to Yahweh shall be the priests, in addition to the ram of the atonement, by which atonement shall be made for him. 9. Every heave offering of all the holy things of the children of Israel, which they present to the priest, shall be his. Numbers 8. 7. You shall do this to them, to cleanse them, sprinkle the water of cleansing on them, let them shave their whole bodies with a razor, let them wash their clothes, and cleanse themselves. 8 Then let them take a young bull and its meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, and another young bull you shall take for a sin offering. 9 You shall present the Levites before the tent of meeting. You shall assemble the whole congregation of the children of Israel. 10 You shall present the Levites before Yahweh. The children of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites 
11 And Aaron shall offer the Levites before Yahweh for a wave offering on the behalf of the children of Israel, that it may be theirs to do the service of Yahweh. 12 The Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the bulls, and you shall offer the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering to Yahweh, to make atonement for the Levites. 21 The Levites purified themselves from sin, and they washed their clothes, and Aaron offered them for a wave offering before Yahweh and Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them. 22 After that, the Levites went in to do their service in the tent of meeting before Aaron and before his sons, as Yahweh had commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so they did to them. Numbers 9. 3 On the fourteenth day of this month, in the day, you shall keep it in its appointed season. You shall keep it according to all its statutes and according to all its ordinances. For Moses told the children of Israel that they should keep the Passover. 5 They kept the Passover in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at evening, in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did. 6 There were certain men, who were unclean because of the dead body of a man, so that they could not keep the Passover on that day, and they came before Moses and Aaron on that day. 7 Those men said to him, We are unclean because of the dead body of a man. Why are we kept back, that we may not offer the offering of Yahweh in its appointed season among the children of Israel? 8 Moses answered them, Wait, that I may hear what Yahweh will command concerning you. 10 Say to the children of Israel, If any man of you or of your generations is unclean by reason of a dead body, or is on a journey far away, he shall still keep the Passover to Yahweh. 19 When the cloud stayed on the tabernacle many days, then the children of Israel kept Yahweh's command, and didn't travel. 20 Sometimes the cloud was a few days on the tabernacle, then according to the commandment of Yahweh they remained encamped, and according to the commandment of Yahweh they traveled. Numbers 10 13 They first went forward according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. 14 First, the standard of the camp of the children of Judah went forward according to their armies. Nashon the son of Ammonadab was over his army. 15 Nethanel the son of Zur was over the army of the tribe of the children of Issachar. 16 Eliab the son of Helen was over the army of the tribe of the children of Zebulun. 17 The tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari, who bore the tabernacle, went forward. 18 The standard of the camp of Reuben went forward according to their armies. Elizur the son of Shadur was over his army. 19 Shalumiel the son of Zurishadai was over the army of the tribe of the children of Simeon. 21 The Kohathites set forward, bearing the sanctuary. The others set up the tabernacle before they arrived. 22 The standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies. Elishama the son of Amahud was over his army. 23 Gamaliel the son of Pedazer was over the army of the tribe of the children of Manasseh. Numbers 11 For the mixed multitude that was among them lusted exceedingly, and the children of Israel also wept again, and said, Who will give us meat to eat? 5 We remember the fish, which we ate in Egypt for nothing, the cucumbers, and the melons, and the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. 16 Yahweh said to Moses, Gather to me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and officers over them, and bring them to the tent of meeting, that they may stand there with you. 17 I will come down and talk with you there. I will take of the Spirit which is on you, and will put it on them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with you, that you don't bear it yourself alone. 18 Say to the people, Sanctify yourselves in preparation for tomorrow, and you will eat meat, for you have wept in the ears of Yahweh, saying, Who will give us meat to eat? For it was well with us in Egypt. Therefore Yahweh will give you meat, and you will eat. 19 You will not eat just one day, or two days, or five days, or ten days, or twenty days. 20 But a whole month, until it comes out at your nostrils, and it is loathsome to you, because you have rejected Yahweh who is among you, and have wept before him, saying, Why did we come out of Egypt? 21 Moses said, The people, among whom I am, are six hundred thousand men on foot, and you have said, I will give them meat, that they may eat a whole month. 22 Shall flocks and herds be slaughtered for them, to be sufficient for them? 
Shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them, to be sufficient for them? Numbers 12. 3 Now the man Moses was very humble, more than all the men who were on the surface of the earth. For Yahweh spoke suddenly to Moses, to Aaron, and to Miriam, You three come out to the tent of meeting. The three of them came out. 5 Yahweh came down in a pillar of cloud, and stood at the door of the tent, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forward. 6 He said, Now hear my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known to him in a vision. I will speak with him in a dream. 7 My servant Moses is not so. He is faithful in all my house. 8 With him, I will speak mouth to mouth, even plainly, and not in riddles, and he shall see Yahweh's form. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant, against Moses? 9 Yahweh's anger burned against them, and he departed. 10 The cloud departed from over the tent, and behold, Miriam was leprous, as white as snow. Aaron looked at Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. 11 Aaron said to Moses, O, oh, my Lord, please don't count this sin against us, in which we have done foolishly, and in which we have sinned. 12 Let her not, I pray, be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed when he comes out of his mother's womb. Numbers 13 21 So they went up, and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin to Rehob, to the entrance of Hamath. Numbers 22 5 He sent messengers to Balaam the son of Beer, to Pether, which is by the river, to the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people who came out of Egypt. Behold, they cover the surface of the earth, and they are staying opposite me. 6 Please come now therefore, and curse this people for me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall prevail, that we may strike them, and that I may drive them out of the land, for I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. 22 God's anger burned because he went, and Yahweh's angel placed himself in the way as an adversary against him. Now he was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. 23 The donkey saw Yahweh's angel standing in the way, with his sword drawn in his hand, and the donkey turned out of the path, and went into the field. Balaam struck the donkey, to turn her into the path. 24 Then Yahweh's angel stood in a narrow path between the vineyards, a wall being on this side, and a wall on that side. Numbers 26 5 Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, of Hanak, the family of the Hanakites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, six of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. Seven These are the families of the Reubenites, and those who were counted of them were forty-three thousand seven hundred thirty. Numbers 30. 2 When a man vows a vow to Yahweh, or swears an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. 3 Also, when a woman vows a vow to Yahweh and binds herself by a pledge, being in her father's house, in her youth. 7 And her husband hears it, and says nothing to her in the day that he hears it, then her vows shall stand, and her pledges with which she has bound her soul shall stand. Numbers 32, 8 Your fathers did so when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. 9 For when they went up to the valley of Eshkol, and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel, that they should not go into the land which Yahweh had given them. 10 Yahweh's anger burned in that day, and he swore, saying, 11 Surely none of the men who came up out of Egypt, from twenty years old and upward, shall see the land which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me, 12 Except Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, and Joshua the son of Nun, because they have followed Yahweh completely. 13 Yahweh's anger burned against Israel, and he made them wander back and forth in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation who had done evil in Yahweh's sight was consumed. 14 Behold, you have risen up in your father's place, an increase of sinful men, to increase the fierce anger of Yahweh toward Israel. 15 For if you turn away from after him, he will yet again leave them in the wilderness, and you will destroy all these people. 23 But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against Yahweh, and be sure your sin will find you out.
24 build cities for your little ones, and folds for your sheep, and do that which has proceeded out of your mouth. 25 The children of Gad and the children of Reuben spoke to Moses, saying, Your servants will do as my Lord commands. 27 But your servants will pass over, every man who is armed for war, before Yahweh to battle, as my Lord says. 28 So Moses commanded concerning them to Eleazar the priest, and to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the Fathers' households of the tribes of the children of Israel. 29 Moses said to them, If the children of Gad and the children of Reuben will pass with you over the Jordan, every man who is armed to battle before Yahweh, and the land is subdued before you, then you shall give them the land of Gilead for a possession, 30 But if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have possessions among you in the land of Canaan. 31 The children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered, saying, As Yahweh has said to your servants, so will we do. 32 We will pass over armed before Yahweh into the land of Canaan, and the possession of our inheritance shall remain with us beyond the Jordan. 33 Moses gave to them, even to the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh the son of Joseph, the kingdom of Sion king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of O.G. king of Bashan, the land, according to its cities and borders, even the cities of the surrounding land. 34 The children of Gad built Dibon, Adaroth, Aroer, 35 Atroth Shafan, Jazer, Jogbiha, 36 Beth Nimrah, and Beth Haran, fortified cities and folds for sheep. 37 The children of Reuben built Heshbon, Elili, Kiriathame, 38 Nebo, and Balmian, their names being changed, and Sibma. They gave other names to the cities which they built. 39 The children of Machir the son of Manasseh went to Gilead, took it, and dispossessed the Amorites who were therein. 41 Jair the son of Manasseh went and took its villages, and called them Havath Jair. 42 Noba went and took Kanath and its villages, and called it Noba, after his own name. Numbers 33 For while the Egyptians were burying all their firstborn, whom Yahweh had struck among them. Yahweh also executed judgments on their gods. 5 The children of Israel traveled from Ramesses, and encamped in Sukkot. 6 They traveled from Sukkot, and encamped in Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. 7 They traveled from Etham, and turned back to Pihihirath, which is before Baal Zephon, and they encamped before Migdal. 8 They traveled from before Hahirath, and crossed through the middle of the sea into the wilderness. They went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and encamped in Mara. 9 They traveled from Mara, and came to Elim. In Elim, there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, and they encamped there. 22 They traveled from Rissa, and encamped in Kehelatha. 25 They traveled from Harada, and encamped in Makaloth. 28 They traveled from Tura, and encamped in Mithka. 31 They traveled from Mosroth, and encamped in Bene Jokin. Numbers. 34 They traveled from Jokbatha, and encamped in Abrona. 52 Then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, destroy all their stone idols, destroy all their molten images, and demolish all their high places. 53 You shall take possession of the land, and dwell therein, for I have given the land to you to possess it. 54 You shall inherit the land by lot according to your families, to the more you shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer you shall give the less inheritance. Wherever the lot falls to any man, that shall be his. You shall inherit according to the tribes of your fathers. Numbers 35. For, the pasture lands of the cities, which you shall give to the Levites, shall be from the wall of the city in outward one thousand cubits around it. 5 You shall measure outside of the city for the east side 2,000 cubits, and for the south side 2,000 cubits, and for the west side 2,000 cubits, and for the north side 2,000 cubits, the city being in the middle. This shall be the pasture lands of their cities. 1. There is not enough space in the scroll for the entire verse. Probably one of the clauses, about the ear, hand or foot, is omitted.